Hey guys, welcome to Isaiah's Reviews. And whenever you get those emails, you're like, that I will review. And that was the case with the Wear Raider version two. I will gladly review this because I drink cheap wine, I'll be honest. I, I pay under $10 for wine most of the time. And I always aerate my wine. I've always aerated it with this little cheap plastic guy. And I've even uh, decanted, which you can decant for like an hour and you just pour it into this big glass. Mine's all hand, I got two decanters that are like hand blown glass, something fancy, but you just pour it in there and let it sit. It makes a huge difference. It knocks a lot of that rough bite off young wines that are like from your previous year or something like that. Those wines are eight or nine bucks. It really mellows them out, hones out those sharp and unpleasant tasting experience that you get from them and uh, turns them into like 20 to $30 bottles of wine. No joke, I'm serious, aeration works. So, whenever they ask me, so whew, you know the answer is yes. And what you get in the box is the aerator itself, this guy, and uh, you get a flexible plastic hose and a hard one, and, the, and it just attaches to the bottom of it like that, goes down into the bottle. This one is for, you know, I guess weirdly shaped bottles so you can get down through there. And this is for your typical size uh, wine bottle. That'll go down in there like that. You get the manual, but we, we, don't, we don't need manuals. And to get to the batteries, you just unscrew. I've already put batteries in and they're there. They're four AAA batteries. You just put that on, screw that back, give her a test. It works. Now I've heard of Wear Raider from CES. I actually saw some footage uh, from that. I think it's 2017 CES last year. And I've seen the version one at actually uh, uh, a winery. So they had them set up. Oh, you want some wine? Here's your little tasting. <laughs> Air rates, boom, there you go. So anyway, what I'm gonna do is take the mall back. A fine, fine, cheap, the cheapest one I could possibly find, 2017 version here. And uh, yum, 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 yum. We're gonna turn this into yum yums from uh, really as complex aromas that'll knock your head off probably. We're gonna hone that down, smooth that out, hopefully, and uh, give her a good taste. And let's just check this out. And one thing that you wanna do is use a battery powered corker, decorker, I guess, cause they'll automatically spit them out. Hopefully I'll have theirs coming for review. I hope if you're watching. And uh, make sure you use a full cutter. People avoid using a full cutter and they battle the cork and they burn the motors up. Super simple. Pops the, the, the full right off the top there and exposes the cork and allows you to pull it right out. Mmm, yes, the aromas is super stout with this guy. And now I'm just gonna pour it straight out of the bottle. A little bite of that there, straight out the bottle there. Now that we've attached the stiff plastic straw to the wear raider, we're gonna push this down kind of firm, but not too terribly firm uh, onto here to get a good seal because this will keep for a few days alone like this. And now we're just gonna give her a go. Wow. Here, let me uh, angle this like this. Wow. That uh, looks great. You can just see the solid fizz in the air mixture into this wine. It gave a great appearance of aeration uh, just right out of the tap. It just come out like suds and now the suds have gone away, but whoo, look good. Now, here's the one right out of the bottle, no aeration at all. Ooh. That's uh, some rough stuff. Let me rinse my mouth out with water and I'll be right back. Okay, now that I've got that out of my mouth, let's try the uh, one that's been aerated. Wow, that really knocked a lot of the bite, a lot of the unpleasant trees right out of there. Now, it'll still remain like hints of it, 
but it goes down a lot smoother, tastes a lot better, and it really does taste twice the price. Now, I've air been aerating wines for a decade plus now, and um, it's really the best way to go to get the best bang for your buck uh, on the wine side, especially if you're gonna drink on the cheaper wine side. So, bottom line, is the Raider worth the price? I'd say, yeah, it has a payoff to that. And I liked how much air it infused. I mean, you could just see pure kind of bubbles shooting out of there. And that was good. That that does it a lot, a lot, a lot, lot better than uh, this old guy here. Really enjoy it. I can't wait to really stretch it and try all across a bunch of different things because with this working with the beer, with the uh, bendable straw here that you can get, you know, in those oversized craft beer containers, you could just stick this on top of your craft beer. I think it's great and it makes the wine taste better. You will save enough money to pay for this by aerating your wine with this because I think it infused a lot of air. That stream that came out was just so infused with air, it was crazy. And another thing to note is you can do, they say up to 250 bottles of wine on four AAA batteries, so that's pretty awesome. So make sure to explode on that subscribe button and ding that dong so that you get notified on the next video that I do. See ya.